I'm only seeing three. One, two, three. Where's the third lady? What's up, modern steaders? If you watched yesterday's video, you know Gina made an ice cream pie to take to some friend's house. That's gonna go happen tonight. So I just got home from work. I got a little bit of time before I gotta get ready to go to our friend's house, which we're excited for. But I got a few things I wanna get done first and something I've got to talk about on yesterday's video. See how their water's doing. Eh, we still got plenty. I don't know how good you guys can see that. It's just crazy how well they're doing eating that grass. I have cut down on their grain a little bit, so I'm eat more grass. And what I've got to tell you yesterday is this weekend we're gonna start harvesting some of our meat birds. They're probably eight weeks old. Or they're, they gotta be at least eight weeks old. It's been so hectic around here, I haven't had time to keep track. They're definitely big enough. Some of them, if not all of them. So after I was telling Gina that Saturday's gonna be harvest day for some of these chickens, she said, why don't you go on Amazon and order yourself one of those poultry pluckers? So I went ahead and did it. We were hoping it was gonna be here by Friday, but I don't know guys, it says prime shipping, but instead of being two day shipping, they're saying it's three day shipping. So I went ahead and I pressed the button and I ordered it. So hope if it shows up, Awesome, we're gonna harvest all the birds on Saturday. And if it doesn't show up, we're only gonna harvest the bigger ones and we'll save the rest of the meat birds for the following weekend. And then we're gonna have the bod rocks that we're gonna need to process anyways. And I'd love to do a second batch this year. I'm not sure what kind of bird, maybe a Plymouth rock, the white ones. Leave it in the comments below what you think we should try raising for our second batch of meat birds. Now we got one more project I wanna try to get done before we go have ice cream pie. But I haven't burnt these yet. You could use them. But I don't want to yelp like Pluto. I put a little skirting around New York City. Because the ducks were going under there and laying their eggs and I thought I had it all taken care of. But guess what? After a few days, they're back to laying their eggs under New York City and we can't be having that. There's no point in me keeping the ducks if I don't get to keep their eggs. See? No duck eggs. So I think one of the issues is, might be right here. So I'm gonna put another board right there real quick. You know what, I better make sure we have all four of the ducks out here before I board that up too good. 
I'm only seeing three. One, two, three. Where's the third lady? We better go find her. I'm thinking the other place they must be getting in under there is right here. And I did see the duck under there, so I gotta get her out first before I board that hole up. I wonder if I can just slide this board. Maybe a shorter one. Let me go see what else I got. There's scrap boards that are only, say, four inches wide. That might work. Better fix these covers. These are drying out nicely. Let's go! I only got the three ducks. The fourth duck is under New York City still. So what I'm thinking is, is I'm gonna make a board to fit, get that all figured out, and I'll wait to see if I see all four ducks back out here again. And if I do, I'm gonna cover it up. And if we don't, that duck might be going broody and she might be sitting on a clutch of eggs. So maybe I'll hold off, but we'll get the board cut and ready to go, just in case we see four ducks out here. Eight nice clean chicken eggs. We better go back and plug that fence back in before you guys remind me and tell me that I didn't do it. Got it. Hey, stay out of the garden. Guys, I'm just amazed at how fast these squash plants are growing. These are the zucchini plants. Ready? Look. Bam! Look at that. That thing's huge. It's got what? Two, four, six leaves on it now. And that one, look at that. Two, two, four, six again. Just look how big the plants are getting. They're jamming. Look at that one. And then these are the summer squash. They're doing good. And then this, these ones right here are our spaghetti squash. They're looking nice. We still gotta plant the pumpkins. I left the row for those. And these are the winter squash. They're a little bit slower growing, but they're still doing really good. Cucumbers are smaller, but awesome. I'm gonna put cattle panels in here for these to grow up like a trellis, but I've been watching and observing, and let me show you something. See how they're all growing this way? So what I'm gonna do is I'll put, I don't know how much of an angle, but I'll put the cattle panels at an angle on this side of the rows, so that way the squashes are gonna wanna naturally grow that way anyways. But I'm just really excited about how good those squash plants are doing. It's just exciting, and that's all growing for free. I haven't fertilized it. 
I haven't watered it, and I'm not going to fertilize or water that area. And you guys are gonna be amazed at all the food we're gonna get out of there. It's just gonna be a huge abundance. So exciting. The Icelandic chicks like to roost really high. The lady that we got them from, she had them in a barn and it was post and beam, it's just a single story, but the post and beam, I don't know, was probably 10, 12 feet up there and that's where all the chickens roosted at night. So you know these guys can jump and fly pretty good. So before I put these guys in New York City, I'm gonna have to clip their wings so they don't fly out on us. All right, we gotta go feed the pigs before we leave. We can't forget about giving the pigs their food. Come on, blow it out. Hey girls, how you doing? You been working? What are you doing, you hungry? I don't know if you guys saw all the rough sawn lumber we have in the side yard. Our goal here this growing season is to build an outdoor kitchen. We want to do it post and beam style. We got all that rough lumber. We got some six by six posts. I was able to scavenge up some roof trusses that somebody was throwing away at a dump last spring. So we have those sitting in another pile. I need to figure out what size outdoor kitchen we can build and then make a slab for it and we're gonna get that done this growing season. One of the ways we're gonna break in the outdoor kitchen is we're gonna have hand-hewn farm come here to Lumna Acres, and we're gonna do a three-day butchering class. The first two days are gonna be butchering, and the third day is teaching us how to process our hams, our bacon, and making charcuterie. So that's gonna be limited to 10 people. If that's something you guys would like to do, it's a three-day class, we'll be doing it in October. Leave it in the comments below, and I'll get back to you guys with more details. Before we sign off for the day, let's check and see how that gluten-free, organic ice cream pie looks. <laughs> that just looks delicious. We got chocolate chocolate chip ice cream with a chocolate graham cracker crust. This is gonna be so much fun tonight, guys. I wish you were gonna be there with us to enjoy it. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, freedom, and making some great desserts. Bye.